All right, Mike, you rolling? Ready, Mitch, you ready to go? All set. All right, uh, Harry, where's Harry? Harry. Harry, anybody seen Harry? Dan, is Harry around here somewhere? I don't know where he is, I don't know. Ah, oh, Harry. He disappeared again, we gotta go find Harry. Uh -huh. Not the bro, not the bro crew. Anybody seen Harry? Josh Hader, what a performance tonight. Harry! Anybody but the Brewers. Anybody seen Harry? I haven't seen Harry, no. No one! And that is some catch oh, and man. some throw. Anybody see Harry? Not that now. Not that now. Dan, have you seen Harry? Uh, yeah, yeah, he's over on the uh, couch sleeping. God. Hi, Rogers, wow. Harry, what are you doing? Uh, Budweiser. Budweiser. Where have you been? Have you been sleeping this whole time? Tim, I had the worst dream I can imagine. Both the Cubs and the Bears lost to Wisconsin teams. Bad news, Harry. It wasn't a dream. I can't believe it. I also dreamt, Tim, that we're out of Budweiser. That was a dream. Drink up, buddy. Hallelujah. 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 Nectar of the gods. Go TV is proud to present from Geneva National Golf Club in beautiful Lake Geneva, Wisconsin, the Clum Family Foundation Celebrity Golf Outing, benefiting the Make-A-Wish Foundation of Wisconsin, where today, Wisconsin's finest tee it high and let it fly. You'll see an NFL star blowing one, an NBA star bowling one, a guy named Bogey making birdie. A woman who is crazy long and a heartbroken Harry looking for love in all the wrong places. Why don't you give me a kiss? It's time for Go TV, presented by Brooks Tractor and Nikor Gas. For 23 years now, the Clum family has been welcoming us here for this terrific event. Once again, a perfect day for the Clum Family Foundation Charity Golf Outing. How you doing, everybody? I'm Tim Morris, thrilled to be here once again alongside Mitch Robinson. And Mitch, I know you haven't been here before. It's definitely an interesting and fun group. Oh my gosh, I mean, the conditions are perfect and yeah, there are some colorful golfers out here. <laughs> Speaking of colorful, of course, Harry is here. Hopefully he's feeling a little bit better. Harry, are you any better now that you've got that beer? You know, Tim, beer and pretty girls, that helps a little, it's nice. It doesn't completely heal the pain of the wounds from the games this week. My beloved Chicago Bears and Cubs losing to these Wisconsin teams. And really, you know what, Tim? I'm angry. There's that Leroy Butler, the Lambo Leap. I call it the Smambo Leap. Holy cow, this is a friendly face. He's got a cup at It's Tim Stoddard, everybody. This is a dangerous environment, Tim, to be wearing that Cubs hat. I wanted to uh, give everybody a thrill since, uh, you know, they're playing each other right now to make it a little more exciting. Oh, and we only lead by one game. Is there a chance you could get into the Cubs bullpen and put some of these innings away? No, it's really scary right now. Go Cubs! You got to be kidding me. Look, it's Robin Yount. <laughs> We're going to beat you guys tonight and tomorrow and the next day. Now, <laughs> two brewers together. It's like a nest. Ken Sanders and Storm and Gorman Thomas. Ah. Well, I want to just tell all those Cub fans out there, we're going to give it to you again tonight. Boy. That escalated quickly. I mean, that really got out of hand fast. Hey, how the Cubs do last night? Holy God, the Cubs lost. <laughs> they Just forget. Anyway, we want to talk to Caitlin Sharkey. Oh, you I wanted to introduce myself. I mean, okay. we're both sportscasters, and we're both great looking. <laughs> I mean. Holy cow. Why don't you give me a kiss? <laughs> oh, thank you so much. <laughs> Boy, oh boy, it's the beautiful Lexi Greatag. Holy cow. Lexi, I tell you, I'm so upset. The 
Bears lost on Sunday. The Cubs lost to the Brewers. It's been a tough week. Well, it was a great week for Wisconsin. <laughs> well, is there anything, Lexi, you could do to cheer me up a, a, a little bit? Holy, I'm in love! From Beauty and the Beast. You can't even see the hole. To a beast of a hole, where we find Emery Moorhead and his NICOR Gas and KS Energy Services Group. Where my role as reporter went right out the window. I understand caddies on this course make quite a living. These guys actually made me think about pulling the stick. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. Oh, 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 man, that was a great. Nice roll, man. Not a bad attempt at birdie by none other than. Uh, what's your name? Just right now for Dusty. Dusty. Storm. Dusty. Dusty. Dusty Storm? Yep. Say what? Were your parents comedians? What kind of? No, I was in the adult film industry. <laughs> a few holes in front, we find Don Beebe's group. And when it comes to Don Beebe and his team, well, there's no shortage on confidence. How are these guys? These though? guys are good. We got some good players. Yeah. Taking the goal today? Well, I think, well, we, we bought, we're going to buy our win, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> but camera's out, right? Oh, we made sure, and lucky we did. Now, I've seen some unique ways of putting, but BB takes the cake, or would blow out the candles if there were a cake. Yay! Well, I've never seen a putt like that. Uphill too, by the way, blowing uphill. Is this what you guys coach at the House of Speed? No, yeah, we don't do any, well, we do breathing stuff, but not like that, no. Ladies and gentlemen, can I please have your attention? I've just been handed an urgent and horrifying news story. Is it story time? It's a story time. <laughs> we gotta do it in the right setting. We gotta go to the bar. <laughs> All right, tell the story. So I was just telling the guys that we were talking about confidence and the mental toughness of players and stuff, and I had a chance to play with Rod Carew. For time's sake, let's just say it was a hell of a story. <laughs> <laughs> Big difference. That's confidence. Salute. Salute. To all my friends. Speaking of stories, people let me tell you about my best friend. Here's Leroy. You put any cameras on him or put anything like that, it's it's he's in the fetal position crying in one of the things over there. Wasn't he aware there were cameras when he was on the field? Very shy, very shy, very shy, sensitive person. <laughs> Sounded good. Sounded good. To the right. So is that water? You hit a pond. Why would they put a pond in the middle of the fairway? <laughs> <laughs> and here's Lizzie, who crushed from tea to green. Yeah. Wow. Right. You're on. Right. Helping her team to an eagle. Hey! Eagle. Finally, a highlight for our show. My goodness. I've seen some bad golf today. Thank goodness for you guys. All impressive. Nice job, longest drive and an eagle. Thank you, it was a good time. <laughs> Take a break from golf for a minute for the guests of honor today, Kenny Clark and Josh Jones of the Packers. And Kenny, you guys must be on cloud nine after yeah. the other night. How are you feeling? Uh, it was a great win. Um, you know, got a chance to, uh, to come out here for the golf event, which is cool. Um, and, you know, it's our off day. So, you know, we're a little sore, but, you know, we're happy for the win. Josh, how about, you know, getting involved with the community? I know you're still a young guy, haven't been around here too much, but to, to get to know people like this, contribute to the community, is that something that's going to be important to you? Uh, I mean, it's huge. I mean, obviously, um, you got to support the people who support you um, and do things in the community, you know, that you, that you live in and um, obviously that you play for. So, um, I mean, it's a, it's, a, it's a big opportunity, to, you know, to, to get your face out there and to show that you care. I notice you guys aren't playing golf today. Is there a reason for that? I'm, I'm horrible at golf. <laughs> yeah. You're a football guy all the Yeah, way. I'm a football guy. I can't play golf. Josh, how about you? You ever swung a golf club? I hit it like a baseball. <laughs> Hard? Hard. <laughs> well, we'll see. Maybe after you're done with your football career. Maybe. All right. Good luck, guys. Thanks for being here. Back out to the golf. Three generations of the Clum family spread all over the course working today. For 23 years now, the entire family dedicating so much time and energy to this worthy cause. So how does it make you feel to be a part of this? I'm honored and blessed to be part of this and very fortunate. 
to be able to do this for children. And they saw some pretty good golf, especially the flat stick play. Billy Campbell oh, with Southeast oh, Connections, oh, bingo. Oh, Joe Dieter's playing with Tom Pippins, making oh, Tommy oh, proud dead center. And how about former NFL referee Richard Reels? No flag on this one. He drops it like it's hot. It's just a fluke. <laughs> Pure luck. Cliff Levingston has two NBA championship rings, but what can he do with a golf club in his hand? A lot. Nice approach to number 14. So this ticklish little right to left slider for Eagle. Will it? Will it? Yes. When the lights come on, you play, don't you? Lights, camera, action. That's me. They call me fourth quarter clip. It's time to go. <laughs> Is that what you do all the time out here, or, or do we just catch you at a really good moment? I think y'all need to follow me, then, you know, <laughs> then I have a good game. But other than that, my game will go to hell after this. <laughs> This is Bear Reynolds, and this is his mallet. He calls it Big Bubba. I won this for being dead last in a different golf outing, and this was the booby prize. He proceeded to use Big Bubba from just off the green, which appeared to be a horrible mistake. These short tap-ins, this must be what Big Bubba is designed for. Ah! <laughs> Not. <laughs> On to better things, like Dave Bogey. That's a terrible name. Yes, his name is Dave Bogey. I used to caddy when I was younger, and nobody wanted to take me out as a caddy. <laughs> so my question, will Bogey outperform his name? His answer, yes. He knocks it to about 12 feet. Now ride that pony, Bogey boy. And now it's time for What Happens Next. OK. Once again, let's play. Bogey Boy's playing partner, Mike Bright. The name certainly sounds better. The question is, what happens next? Will he A, shank one, dead right, hitting a golf cart? B, dead top it, a grounder short of the ladies' tee? C, chunk it, dropping it in the middle of the lake? Or D, pure it, a great shot to six feet from the cup? Okay, let me hear you. What's it gonna be? A, B, C, or D? Well, we're waiting. The answer? B, he dead topped it, drilled it right into the ground, a meek dribbler that barely got off the tee. Certainly not a bright outcome for Mr. Bright. A little bit surprising to me that your playing partner's name is Bogey and yours is Bright. Yeah. You're, you should more, be more like named Bogey, shouldn't you? I should. That might help <laughs> me out a little bit. But wait, a chance for redemption. Can he turn Bogey's shot into a birdie? Get in there! Oh. Oh. That's why your name's Bright. That's what I'm talking about. You know how to putt, right? That's, a, that's my game. Yep. <laughs> Ah yes, what a great day it has been, and most importantly, a great day for the Make-A-Wish Foundation, the Clum Family Foundation. 23 years, 420 wishes, over $2 million raised, and that, of course, is thanks mostly to all of you. And thank you for letting us be a part of it as we say goodbye on this somewhat somber day, the anniversary of 9-11. So long, everybody.